Today I'm at watchfinder.co.uk at their service center, finding out what components go into making your watch shock resistant. The Zenith El Primero was launched in 1969 and it's famed for being the world's first automatic chronograph. For that reason, we've chosen it to showcase the elements that go into making a watch shock resistant. To do this, we call upon watchmaker Sarah Jane King from Watchfinder. Initially, she removes the sapphire case back, the case screws, rotor, hands, dial, and date ring. In watchmaking, there are two main varieties of shock setting, the Inca block and Kef. Here we see the Inca block system. This was the first commercial and widely used shock prevention system owned by the Swatch Group. The Inkablock Shock Protection System is the trade name for a spring-loaded mounting system for the dual bearing that supports the balance wheel to protect the wheel's delicate pivots from damage during shock. The Inkablock system uses a layer-shaped spring to allow the delicate bearings to shift in their settings under impact until a stronger shoulder of the staff contacts the strong metal end piece so that the pivots and bearings don't have to bear the force of the impact. When the impact is over, the springs guide the parts back to their original positions and the staff itself does not move relative to the dual bearing. If a shock is received, then the balance staff will push its shoulder against the chaton and it will move both the chaton and cap jewel with the anti-shock spring flexing to allow this limited movement. This small movement absorbs the force of the impact in a safe way, thereby protecting the vulnerable balance spring pivot. Once the shock has been absorbed, the spring's elastic properties will mean it will want to return to its original shape and by doing so will push the chaton and capstone back downwards. We see the balance and the balance is the thing that you see oscillating backwards and forwards as the watch runs. Removal of the escapement, the plate and train wheels, as well as the mainspring unraveling from within the barrel. Finally, we see Sarah Jane remove these specially designed jewels. And there you have it, the main elements that go into making your watch shock resistant.